Hey everybody, good afternoon. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus, giving you the latest update on what's going on with Hurricane Lee. It has become Hurricane Lee. It's at right now 74 miles per hour winds and moving northwest at 14 miles per hour. Still going to be a major hurricane, still battle around four on the edge of a five. Back and forth maybe a few times. Now we do have the latest spaghetti models out. We do have some new data to go through. Now, we, now you do notice that we do have some curves going on in the spaghetti models right after it passes by Puerto Rico, right after it starts going by Dominican Republic and Haiti, curving right to the north. But it's not a sharp turn. It is a northwest on every single one of these. There's one that's doing a straight north. There's a red one. A lot of them show that it's going to be a relaxed turn. You can also see the latest National Hurricane Center. They agree with those winds, just tropical storm force winds, not even really possible coming from Hurricane Lee. But you can also see that right here as it moves by on Sunday. It's bringing some teens maybe. Maybe get into the low 20s for a minute as it passes by and goes right by the northern half, right by Puerto Rico, and it starts making that westward push. Latest intensity guidance confirmed us. A lot of them just showing this is going to be a strong Cat 4 hurricane. We still have them going up and down into the Cat 5. This one has the best potential. It has all the temperatures in front of it, no wind shear, just nothing stopping it at all from doing what it's going to do. Now, this turn that we're about to go on, just to show you a few more, just like the other day, we had Hurricane Bell in 1976. And it just stayed a little slow but wide turn the whole time and went all the way towards Long Island and towards the Northeast. Also, Hurricane Gloria in 1985, which almost did a double path. See, this is where we're at. It's going to take this west-northwest path, and this is literally in six to seven days right here where our modeling is showing that hopefully this storm comes in from Canada, brings a nice trough, and takes this storm away. That's in seven days. That's in a week. We're hoping that this pattern still stays true. If not, this is what Gloria did. It kept going all the way to the same area, stayed right up the coast, ripping along right for Long Island as well. And Hurricane Henri back in 2021. Who can forget Henri? Goes to leave, goes straight out the North Atlantic, and then it curves west, hits, and then comes out. So even if it does do that turn, we have to make sure this thing is all the way gone before we take our eyes off of it, guys. Now, the latest update on the cyclone locations, you can only see the next six days. But you can see how it's doing that westward shift. Straight west, strong to the west. Like it could go all the way over here by Bahamas before it starts turning because these are showing a strong western push as well. Now, the latest run on GFS has taken a little bit further away from shore, but the average is still this black line right here. Then you got your control, more than likely, will be a little bit further to the east. But you can see also with the other ones, you can see with the Ural, what's going on. And Ural seeing the same thing, that the average is just going to turn. The latest run does kick it to the west, but it's saying it will eventually turn to a sharp turn which is what the go satellite finally sees now so it's good to see that the trend from this morning is not hanging around for this afternoon i will show you the control member of the euro also the canadian you can see that as well the canadian is showing that it will do this turn will be a couple of stragglers that's why they can't give up the opportunity you even see the stragglers under lee so there's still a few stragglers of what could happen even though we more than likely 99 percent think it's going this way and you also have the automatic tropical cyclone forecast system, and it's only showing those next six to seven days. That's it. It will eventually just start doing a turn as it goes all the way by Bahamas and Turks and Caicos. And that's what you see when you look for a full run just for a tropical depression with the euro. You can see I starts to slowly do that curve, but it's a little weaker of a curve. With GFS, it goes a little bit further, but then a sharper of a curve. Now, the Hurricane Analysis Forecast System A shows still no threat towards the islands, but you see how it takes that straight westward path going as a Cat 5. Also still showing it's going right through some very warm waters in the high 80s, and it's not affecting it at all. And once you get to this 30, 31, 32, this is where you start going towards 90, guys. So it's going towards warmer waters. Now, when it does curve, it is going to start curving towards cooler waters, where it'll get out of a Category 5 status if it is in one, and it'll go down to a 4 or even a 3. But the trend has been a major hurricane still swinging by. Plus two differences on the system. So Hurricane Analysis Forecast System A shows it to be tightly wound, not too broad of a system, a very smaller wind field. 
But Hurricane Forecast System B takes it all the way down to a 906 before it starts losing its strength of intensity a little bit. But at the same time, a very broader of a system really turns right into a beast. And that pink is some very thick color of a lot of winds, a lot of precipitation, some serious transformation right there. That could be a Cat 5 shot literally right there as it goes further to the west, straight to the west. And now picking up over 183 miles per hour sustained wind. So it has grown some in strength but it's still not showing that it's any threat towards the islands or Puerto Rico or any of that as it goes by. Still going to be way too far to the north, but very powerful. But you can see right here as it swings by, it gets all that banding going on, get all that whipping as you go through Sunday morning. It's going to be a lot of those bannings just whooping on down towards northern half of the Leeward Islands, then whipping by Puerto Rico as you go through the afternoon, moving further to the north. Then it goes straight to the west. Just a straight shot through all these warm waters. So we definitely have to keep our eye out for Turks and Caicos. Definitely for the Bahamas. And what could happen past this? Because we're still talking four or five days before we get this curve that goes on as it's built. This is a Euro. This is what your wave height. We see that last bit how it still shows it going to the west. That is literally looking on Thursday and Friday right there which we know is going to change. If you look at GFS, it takes it even further up the line like it is going on that path, eventually going to turn, but don't quite know. But to me, that's just too close of a call. Plus, that invest that's behind Lee is going to move up here, and they're going to interact a little bit as they go through the Atlantic together. But both of them are showing that path. The Euro and the GFS both showing that path. And, and that's the problem. Still showing at least a hurricane, maybe a Cat 2 at best. Euro is still showing a major hurricane as it swings towards that western push. And this is where we need it to start doing that kick out. This is where we're waiting for the storm to come in from Canada and swoop this away. So I said this is still a week away that we're hoping this pattern sticks together. So I will keep you updated as often as possible just so you know what to expect. Still showing with the winds that it's not going to affect no one. GFS is taking those a little bit further into the Atlantic. Euro still takes it to the west. But if you notice, that's what GFS sees as well. And then it shows a little curve after that. So we will see. Plus the lays on the control member with the Euro shows that after it goes on that straight western push, that once it gets past Puerto Rico, it will start curving to the north. It will go down to a Cat 5 major hurricane. And then be a four and start moving to north, be a three. And it moves a little bit more to the east. So this is why I'm telling you that this is going to keep changing. It's good that this is showing this. Right here, right where it's taking that eastern push now. And it's not going towards northeast like this morning. I'm very grateful that's not trending. This is 10 days away. This is 10 days away from maybe this setup happening. Now you see why we got to stay updated on this. Well, thank you so much for your time. God bless you and your families. I hope this information has helped you keep you a little bit updated. I will see you again first thing in the morning. Ever been here before? Make sure you subscribe. Get the updates so you know what the latest information is. I've been here for a long time and I always alert people as early as I can. I try to go a month out. <laughs> and we just update and get the newest information as it comes in. Now, before you go real quick, I know it's later in the evening. Everybody's kind of calming down with their families. I want to talk to you with Psalm. 52, 1 through 5. Why boastest thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of God endureth continually. Thy tongue deviseth mischiefs, like a sharp razor, working deceitfully. Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Selah. And Selah means think about what you just heard. It's a very important fact that you can see it. Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Selah. Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue. God shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away, and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place, and root thee out of the land of the living. Selah. Once again, God shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away 
and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place, and root thee out of the land of the living. Selah. Amen. I don't want to endure any of that, so I know who my heart follows and why I try and fix myself the best I can every single day, and, and just don't fall backwards. Fall on the Lord and fall forward. Thank you so much for your time, everybody. Remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I pray he keeps every single one of y'all safe. I pray he turns this thing and makes it just a big fish storm. Don't hurt Bermuda. Don't hurt anybody. That's what I pray. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah on that. That is a big storm. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.